Howdy folks, Monty here in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming another another White Dwarf video here today. I don't know why I say what I say in my videos, but uh, here's another White Dwarf. <laughs> hey to the folks who uh, are regulars have subscribed. If you are not subscribed to this video, please consider subscribing. Much appreciated and allows me to give this content, uh, you know, more of my time basically. I did start the channel with regards to miniatures as well, and I'm waiting till probably mid-June um, when I'm getting the Shaman back from uh, Oscar Lars. I was thinking about actually doing more miniatures in this uh, video format, but currently the White Dwarves seem to be bringing people in, and uh, certainly my existing user base seems to be sustained by the White Dwarves currently, so uh, I've still got a few more to show. <laughs> Not run out as yet. Um, but yeah, doing them somewhat haphazardly out of order. This is a uh, beautiful piece of Dark Future, or um, was it called Freeway Fighter? It was the uh, role-playing game, the uh, fighting fantasy that was uh, based around this. I actually got Livingston, I think. Ian Livingston, Sir Ian Livingston, as he is now. He wasn't a Sir when he signed it to sign my Freeway Fighter book. I'm pretty sure he was the one who did Freeway Fighter. Anyway. I got the right person to sign it. I got the person who had done that book <laughs> to sign it. But yeah, Freeway Fighter was uh, very seminal um, in my own thinking. And uh, just loved the imagery. I mean, the imagery in particular was kind of Mad Max-esque, but it had its own thing going on. So anyway, beautiful cover on this White Dwarf. I don't think I own this one in Australia, or more importantly, my friend. I don't think my friend owned this in Australia. Uh, but we start with a Blood Bowl and uh, July 19... 88. Phil Gallagher is the uh, editing manager and uh, Sean Masterson is the editor. So that's this particular issue. Maybe I did. Maybe my friend did have this copy. This picture looks very familiar to me. So uh, the Vermilion Pawn. The Pawn Shop. It was fun to have a I, uh, it's for um, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Always fun to have a pawn shop in your Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay because the ability to have a wide variety of artifacts that might be useful in up-and-coming adventures or might just be artifacts for the sake of artifacts. I think this channel's pretty heavily devoted to artifacts. So, heavy advocate for artifacts, definitely. Some Iron Claw Goblins. I think I probably have some of these Iron Core Goblins. Well, this guy looks very familiar, but then he's very familiar to uh, a lot of... Uh, I'm wondering if I do have some Iron Core miniatures, actually. But, uh, yeah, I have, I have a variety of Greenskins. I found another patch of Greenskins, actually, which I think are Oscar Lars painted. Um, but uh, I had them uh, stowed away. I do, I do have miniatures painted by... Uh, the miniature painter in Santa Cruz, his name escapes me. Um, I'm pretty sure he painted some green skins for me too. But uh, yeah, I've, I'm not feeling an army with those things. So only with um, miniatures that are painted by painters that I'm still in good contact with. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, he tried to have a Twitter beef with me, the fellow whose name I've quite comfortably forgotten. Uh, which was, well, he didn't actually. He tried to have a Twitter beef with me in my absence, which um, is very striking when these things are searchable. Um, anyway, what a very curious circumstance one throws oneself into. A bunch of painters I've had problems with like that. But, uh, and the ones I haven't are the ones that are still in good correspondence, although my man Rochi has been, uh, well, slow to respond, but he's painting other people's models currently, so... But nothing really to add other than a request for a, a werewolf picture. And uh, for folks listening in, if you are artists and you would like to contribute a werewolf picture to my open source, please let me know. Is this a multi page throughout the barbarian? Maybe, no, I don't know. No, maybe it's a single page. Oh, this chapter approved looks familiar too. Yes, I might have had this, uh, at least had access to this particular miniature. You gotta love squats on bikes. Eldar artillery and squats on bikes. 
Hitler approved. A missile being chased after or sent after. It looks like an orc missile, possibly. Ooh, putting gaming on the map. Oh, you could love the magazine, uh, the magazine stand, and of course the uh, holder of the spruce. But uh, yeah, the magazine stand is particularly nice. Get all your old white dwarfs there by the looks of things. Games Workshop Harrow. Kenton Harrow Greenhouse. Harrow on the Hill. White Dwarf Letters page. Highway Holocaust. Wow. Joe Denver, the best selling author of Lone Wolf. Oh, interesting, interesting. Denver is a games magazine like Lone Wolf was. Um, dark Future Imagery and Ad. Game of Highway Warriors. Available this summer, price $19.99. 19 squid 99. Seems remarkably cheap. The long and the short of it. Yes, I remember this well. Jonas Johnson tells you everything you possibly know about the dwarf and the elf deeds. Dwarf deeds, elf deeds. Some beautiful painted binnies. The uh, blood bowl variety. Ooh, we've got some realms of chaos, slave to darkness. Beef corns, brazen throne. Ring bone, uh, moats of burning blood. Burning blood, like the war forges. Interesting. Oak uh, Brunton and Brian Ansel. Ooh, chaos weapons. You've got to love the uh, the margins. Gotta love the margins. And you've got to love the weapons, actually. I wonder if the makers of the Slayer Swords would consider making these. This one's particularly noglish. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, we've got all kinds of weapons here. Hurling Magic Absorption. There we go. <laughs> a Random Plague. Singing strength? Look at this. this. You imagine being hit by this thing? I mean, it, it, going up against armor must be rather interesting, but I'm sure all this stuff is magic. Chaos Warriors in black and white. Excuse me, Warhammer Armies. I do like TM games. Ooh, the whirlwind well tenderizer. That was quite the weapon, wasn't it? It had all kinds of tenderizing parts on it. <clears throat> you could actually swap out the tenderizers, I guess. Crush, crumble, and chop. And that's got spinning bits and everything. Ooh, Blood Bowl, Dark Future, Warhammer Siege, Warhammer Armies. There's a rhino, a plastic rhino. Only nine squid ninety-nine. And here you have the range of rhinos. I do like these uh, marines hanging onto their rhinos. Look at this. I love the graffiti on the rhinos. White dwarf, rune quest, rune quest, paranoia. Monsters, Illuminations, Campaigning, or, sorry, Rampaging Rhinos, not Campaigning Rhinos, Rampaging Rhinos. Yes, look at this. All kinds of street filth here. <laughs> oh, we got some nice paint jobs here. Very much of the late 90s in this stuff. Golden Demon Wants, 1988. Leisure Games. An Orcs Nest. Flippinac. It's a beautiful store, Orcs Nest. I'm still waiting for someone in the comment section to talk about uh, Orcs Nest, if they've been recently, if it's still as amazing a store as it once was. Tall Bay is proud to present Toy Town. 
Torquay. It's interesting. Warhammer Armies. Look at this. We've got Mr. Stillman and uh, who's the other general one? Richard Halliwell, I guess. Orcs and Goblins. Got some water damage at the bottom here. Votes who like their authenticity. Oh, Fist. It's a Steve Jackson game. I'm assuming of the Steve Jackson uh, and Ian Livingston fame. Oh, yes. Got some beautiful uh, 20 to 60 Arab boys. That's kind of take a lot of. Uh, that's a real line hammer thing. 20 to 100 boys. Zero to 30 biggins. Zero to 30 grunters. Zero to 30 snorters. Some trolls. Some scabbies. Some savage arrows. 20 to 200 gobbers. That's really here. Yeah. You've got to have some uh, some mixtures in there. I'm sure you've got some iron claws in there. It's in there. 20 to 200 stickers. Gobbo wild boys. Gosh, look at this. This would be quite the goblin force. They don't have any pictures of uh, these sized armies, but uh, well, one to three snotling pump wagons. It's not a party without a snotling pump wagon. Skirmishes, allies, and unfortunately no photos. But we'll have a fantasy. Just uh, put out. And uh, so ends this particular white dwarf. If you've enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments. Any uh, feedback, any other issues you'd like to see? I'm not sure if I, I don't have all the issues of White Dwarf in this period, I need to point out. I just have a smattering of them, as I like them. So um, I can't guarantee I'll have every possible issue. But I did want to uh, put out there so my viewing audience can uh, provide feedback in the comments. If you like this video, please like. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. To make up for those three people that are unsubscribed at my H of Sigma weekend. Anyway, Tom Hubley in Las Vegas, Nevada, signing out.